people bitch about the first Star Wars. Oh, Princess Leia got captured. You're held at gunpoint. Right. Unless this is the new fucking Star Wars movie where the chick can't do wrong, she shits gold bricks. Uh, everything that happens to these other people is realistic because they're held at gunpoint. I mean, if somebody's like, go in this car and I'm held at gunpoint, I'm going to do it. I'm not just going to magically use the force and make the car turn into a rainbow or some <laughs> bullshit. It's just... I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm getting off on a tangent. I hate that fucking movie so much. I try not to think about it. Anymore. I don't blame you. It's I I like it, but it's definitely not because it's Star Wars. The only reason I like it. I mean, she. Why is she so overpowered? What the fuck? Because she's a woman. That's not why. God damn. Because it. she's on her. That God is. Period. That's not That's why. Up. Fucking they they. Fucking the black dude does no wrong. It's not because he's fucking black. It's because he's a goddamn main character. Wait, hey, Dia, wait. Does he really not do anything wrong? Because the at the end of the running, day, he's, he wants to run away with his tail between his legs until the he only gets person, involved. And then, and then he goes. And then at the end of the day, it. he's a fucking no. And then at the end of the day, he's a fucking janitor. Talk about a slap. But in he's the face. a janitor. It's like, oh, I'll be All this right. great hero, but I'm a fucking. But the janitor comes up with the plan to fucking destroy fucking. the greatest threat since the Death Star. Come on. It's cool, it's guys. We've done the Star Wars thing out. That's true. You're right. You're right. We're, we're not doing... gonna. You're okay. right. Okay. Anyway. But to, hey, but Brian, to be fair, it's only it was only me, Dan, and Nick. Yes, that's true. Been our listeners Star have Wars never for the past three weeks, gentlemen. Our listener has, and that's why because it brings the clicks. Nobody's ever heard Dion's take on Star Wars. That's true. Holy shit. That's true. I wasn't a part of that episode. Yeah. Or me. Right, well, it's just... I resend my let's. Uh, I resend my let's shut the fuck up and let's give it back to Dion then. Yeah, Dion. For for Star Wars. Yeah, just fuck that movie. I mean, that goddamn piece of the shit. The only reason I like it is because it's a Star Wars movie. For me, and I don't care. Is it the worst Star Wars movie? And I know movie? that fucking our, our homeboy Max Landis got a lot of shit for this. And I know that, you know, obviously some of the comments didn't like what you guys had to say. But as far as her being the main character, you're 100% right. She's way too overpowered. And I don't care that she's a woman, even if it was a guy... Do not fucking tell me it makes sense that Luke Skywalker, who had to go through training and get his ass whooped, could magically figure out a way to do a Jedi mind trick. That doesn't you know make any what, sense. You know what somebody told me? Someone said she was possessed by the Force. Oh, shut the fuck up. That person deserves to get punched in the dick. And That person that told you that is a fucking idiot and has never watched a Star Wars movie. Because the Force doesn't the give a flying. It's, yeah, it doesn't make decisions on its own. The best it's, way that I would say is that she was trained, uh, Crybaby Ben turned dark and killed the other ones, and Luke wiped her memory to hide her. Yeah, that was a theory I heard. That was a theory, but it's, it, it doesn't make sense. Fan theories are all it fucking It doesn't make wrong, sense. Okay, every fan that theory That does not work, because Ben does not recognize her when he walks in. He does not recognize her. She does not recognize him, which means they don't fucking know one another. So the fact but that yet, she, yet Her but Han and Leia act like we know you. They well, that, that's her. You know, whether it's Luke's. That's not part of the movie, though, Joel. That's part of this whole. We have to build this woman character right. up because the producer Kathleen Kennedy has a stick up her ass. So she's on a fucking quest to make Star Wars appeal to more women because that's what she works on and she's got to feel like she's a fucking role model when she's really not you know what you are kathleen kennedy is you're just a producer you make movies from behind the scenes keep your politics yeah. out of these fucking movies you worked on back to the future you worked on some of the other star wars movies and indiana jones keep your politics to yourself right. these movies don't live and die by what interests you at the fucking moment you're not a goddamn celebrity i don't give a shit what any celebrity wants to do for fun your work and your personal life are two separate things. Don't let them bleed over. I don't give a shit about your current causes because you know what? In twenty years, they're gonna people are gonna wake up and realize that this movie is not that great. I think a lot of people realize it's it not. Now. Yeah, it's not gonna the be twenty years. It's gonna be you know two or three because the hype is dead for this movie. I think already. Is what yeah, I'm trying to get I at. Think people is. are waking up. I'm so happy, but yeah. it's it already made all this money. So I think episode eight is gonna. I think look like this. I think episode eight has to be reworked because I know they pushed the date. Yes, back, and they'll and then they push all that bullshit out them. about it being it's going to be really really dark. They didn't say that shit before. They're saying it now because you even if you want to make and again I'm I'm progressive. I'm a dude that I agree with that shit. If you want to make a movie that 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 leans towards you know women being a bigger part of the movie, look at Mad Max Fury Road. That's how you do that movie. 
You don't fucking make yep. make it to where it's a detriment to the fucking story. It makes sense to me that she can ha- that Reagan handle herself, you know, with that staff. That makes sense. But the fact that even even if even if that dumb fucking theory that she was trained by that fucking German dude in the camp, it does not make sense because one Ben is by far better trained than her. Point blank. Can we just call him Kylo Ren? Because every time you say Ben, I think it'll be one. Yeah, my bad. Kylo Ren is more better trained than her. He's trained by Luke and some random fucking Sith Lord character. Even <clears throat> even if even if that you can somehow explain to me, well, she was trained as a kid. So was fucking Kylo Ren, and he had more training from the point she went to Jakar up until they met. And here's the thing: Jack. all these fucking fan theories. You have to go by what is presented in the film. I don't give a fuck uh, what you think <laughs> might happen or could happen because any shitty movie can be uh, explained away. Oh, it could have been this. It's a fan theory. No, fan theories are just ways for one uh, people that they want to feel like they're a part of something that they're really not a part of. You know, exactly. I may love yeah. Back to the Future, but I'm not a part of that fucking movie. So, you know, what? I have to accept it and enjoy it for what is on the screen. I don't need fan theories about is Marty really dead? Has Doc traveled all these times back to save Marty? No. What's on the screen is on the fucking screen. That chick was left on that fucking planet as a kid. And I'll buy that she's trained on a staff and maybe knows how to talk to a droid. She doesn't know how to fly the fucking Millennium Falcon. She doesn't know how to Thank use a lightsaber. She doesn't know the goddamn Jedi mind trick. She doesn't know how to use the Force to grab a lightsaber. It's stupid shit. And I'm going to go as far as to say stupid people are conned by this shit as it's cool, it's Star Wars. No, Star Wars is a lot more than a lightsaber in the fucking Not only that, not only that. Watch one of the old goddamn and, and movies. Going off, and, and, and going off the lightsaber thing, this Star Wars... It's not Sword in the Stone. It's not a King Arthur fucking movie. It's not fucking magic. The Force is... The fact that they made a scene where she touches the fucking lightsaber and she has this vision because this fucking midget bitch with glasses on told her (laughs) that, hey, touch this fucking thing because I said so and I've been around for a thousand years. It's like you just offered way more fucking questions than answers. And again... I don't care about the political bullshit. If it hurts the story, it hurts the fucking story. For me, it makes sense. And I think it It makes sense that Finn can use a lightsaber because they probably train them with weapons. They train stormtroopers with edged weapons. That makes sense to me. If she could, if she could use a lightsaber again, that makes sense. She's had that staff for a long time. I get that shit. But the fact that she's blade locked with Kylo Ren and closes her eyes. And the music starts, and she's sitting there humming and all that bullshit, and can fucking essentially beat a Sith is fucking bullshit. When 15 minutes prior, she's running through the forest and crying the whole goddamn time, all right. that doesn't make fucking sense as far as the character. So I have to say one there, thing here. Yeah, even if you go to the next movie, what is there more for them to do? They've already beaten Thank the you. Empire. She's beaten... The fucking Sith. The bad guy. All right, let me just jump in for two seconds, Dion. I'm sorry. Go ahead, man. You're right. right. I mean, look, dude, you've got an excellent point, but here's my counterpoint to you. Kylo Ren just took a fucking shot from the biggest fucking death machine one can hold in their hands and took it like a fucking G. Took a knee. He took a knee, used as much force power as he could to contain that fucking wound to get back up and be a fucking man. That's not an excuse, though, Brian, because she's not skilled in the same my combat. Point Even if is, you take the force my away, point is he was injured and his game was not on point. Because Darth Vader was injured when he, he fought Luke injured. Skywalker. Luke Skywalker hit him in the shoulder with a lightsaber. I don't care how much armor he has on. It, he hit him so hard that it sparks off and and Darth Vader visibly pulls back and yells. Ah, and, 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 and I get it. Kylo Ren's not as strong as Darth Vader. I no. get that. I my, get my. And she's not, and this girl's not, but look at one thing I want to say to both you guys. You're bringing those points up. Luke had trained for a year to two years, whatever the time skin between Empire and Jedi is. Luke has been a trained Jedi. Yeah. 
This girl has had a lightsaber and, and used the Force for a couple She of found out about it Where a day fuck? before. A day before. Yeah. No, no, I agree with those. I love how you just pop into I the I agree frame. those fucking po- I agree with your points, both of you gentlemen. I'm just saying, that's the only plausible point you can bring up on why she could have even maybe had a chance at beating Kylo is how badly he was injured at the time. And the only thing yeah. you but why say, why is she why can she use the Jedi mind trick? She doesn't, she doesn't even know what it is. You. She that'd be like a, know what that that'd be is. like if I started speaking fluent Russian to you right now. I've never learned any Russian. I don't even know anything. I mean, I've heard it in movies. Let's use another language I've never heard. Uh, what's a language no one's ever heard in a film? Um, Aramaic. I'm trying to. Fine, we don't know Aramaic. Let's just say we start speaking it fluently. Oh, because I closed my eyes and I thought really fucking hard. That's the logic behind this fucking movie. She is garbage. And yeah, people yeah. are so afraid. What? The, the, what I brought up before we started this podcast, the thing that is ruining all genres, comics, movies, and all, millennials... No, and the need to get the their money. That bullshit. You had the no, same no. bullshit in old movies. You had the exact same bullshit what in movies? old movies. Not in the old. Star I mean, Wars no, I mean, you have the whole black exploitation thing was all about them trying to make a way for actors that aren't in major movies. There are plenty of movies you have. I mean, even Gone with the Wind. The whole reason that it's all of Hanson is because like, well, we don't have a lot of women in movies. This, it's not about a millennial thing. The fact no, 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 of the matter no, 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 no. is... I'm not, I'm not saying... I'm, I'm talking about you have characters like her about- who are just giving everything and don't earn it. Yeah. I get what you're saying. I, I yeah, no, that point I get. That point I can agree with. That's what and, I'm saying. And the thing is, the young, the black I don't boy- want to work for it. Give it to me because I'm the most important character of the movie. Okay, here you go. You're, you're, you're badass. Unstoppable. It's like a black exploitation thing, Dion. It was made... Like you said, to make actors, black actors that couldn't get into big roles, give them a role. <laughs> the thing though is, they weren't taking a pre-established universe right. no. and turning it on its ear to appease a female demographic. Because look, Hillary likes Star Wars, and that's cool that she's always liked Star Wars. That's a cool feature about Hillary. I know this lady named Allison; she likes Star Wars. But overall, I don't know a lot of women that liked Star Wars in general. They're trying to just get a female audience to like Star Wars, and they're doing it at the cost of the the pre-existing universe. We gotta make, like I said to but you, all Dan, movies the other are day. That. I mean, that's not they... something that's particular to Star Wars. My thing is... no, what what when has James Bond tried to appeal to more women? They haven't. He does the same shit. The only when thing they've they done to change the, the James Bond is make him more contemporary. And die another day, be you know essentially. Are we really are we really going to use die another day as, as a positive example? I'm not saying positive. I didn't film? say positive. All I'm saying <laughs> is this is not something that is particular. To our this decade, like I'll say, of movies. Even so, like I said, Mad Max Fury Road came out the same good, year. Yeah, but yeah, it's a good example. And it's, and, of and how it, to use... The reason that, and literally, the, they went fucking George Miller went to fem, to women's activists and said, "How can I make a great a, a, a movie about a female character that that kind of is pushing that progressive idea?" And they did it, and, and they anyone, did it perfectly. And no one's. And no one's bitching about that right. movie on the show because it's a great movie. That was movie of the year, in my opinion. And it didn't fucking matter because it wasn't like... Here's the thing. With Princess Leia, with Ripley, with other female characters, it's not like in your face, right. I'm this chick right. first. It's, right. I'm a right. character. I'm competent. I can do what I can do. It doesn't matter my sex. They earn it and to put it in Princess- Joel's frame of mind. They earn... Yeah. Well, like Princess Leia is completely... She can shoot just... She yeah. shoots a better shot than Luke Skywalker. Yeah. She handles better, more stormtroopers on the Death Star yeah, they, than anyone but Han Solo. But they, she they can't weren't into any That's type of Solo feminist does. agenda in the original Star Wars. She was just that character. She was boss to the wall. Get out of my face. I'm going to shoot your ass. I don't want to deal with your your petty bullshit solo. And, well, George, and, and, George and, Lucas has said that. I mean, that's you know that was what you know Leia was was you know the female. Edition. George Lucas has also gone on record to say, like, oh, I had nine movies planned out in the beginning and all this other shit. So I can't, I don't listen to him. But I'll say this: even she is like, she can kill, she kills Jabba the Hutt, the guy that Han Solo can't escape through the galaxy. He can escape like Darth Vader and shit. He can't escape Jabba the Hutt though. She can kill Jabba the Hutt, and it feels right, natural. Right, right. For right. Ray to even fight, so like. In the first ten minutes, you know Princess Leia can handle her own shit because she takes out stormtroopers. It's like, there's one set for stud. No, she kills the dude and then gets captured. It's not like, oh, don't hurt me. Like, Ray is like, oh, they only gave me so much food and I'm going to cry and all this other shit. It's like, no, just be cool. Like, then you're leaving. I'm going to run off into the forest and cry. 
Well, I know how to run. Don't you go to touch my hand. I know how to run, motherfucker. Yeah, that line pissed me the fuck off. If you want to talk about, you said no agenda, Dion. It's literally in the fucking movie with that right. line right there. I rolled my eyes right. so hard. There's no subtext because it's right on the fuck. It's in your face. And like I said earlier about being stupid, how could people not see that? I'm not trying to read into it. It smacked right. me it's, in the face, no, and I didn't agreed. like it. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 it's just that it fucking you can do even if that's the way that you even if that's the agenda. <sighs> You can do it to where it fucking benefits the story, and it doesn't in Star Wars. It just fucking, and I'm I'm not even not sorry about the shit. It just fucking does it. I mean, you have Finn. You know, he's running. He goes to save his fucking white girlfriend that he wants to bang at the end of the movie, and he faces the bad guy and gets his ass kicked. Like. The, and like you said, my biggest point is, where are they going to go? This girl is a Mary Jane, or a Mary Sue. And I, I can honestly say, uh, we recorded our episode before Max Landis ever tweeted out about God Mary Sue right. shit. God I damn say, right. And I have it on record, I brought it up first. I'm not saying he copied me, because clearly he's never heard of the episode. But my point is, it's not a Max Landis phrase. It's out there in the world. I knew about it, I brought it to the table in our Star Wars episode. And, uh, no, um... And it's just getting to a point where it's like so fucking. I just can't believe people are enjoying it. Like I said, I like it because it's Star Wars. I like lo- it looked great. It it you know. You've changed your opinion though, because you were a lot more down on it when I came. I to was, it. and I've I've had time to think about it. But if anything, it's made me more angry. It, it don't and even so, even so, you know, at the, at the crux of the matter. Kylo Ren is strong enough in the dark side, he can stop a fucking blaster bolt in midair. That, was that guy is not losing to a bitch who found out about the Force two days beforehand. That's not happening. You know how they could really earn my respect back in this new Star Wars? If they kill her. Just flat out kill her. You know that's Just not going to happen. I know well, it's not going to happen, but I'm don't saying... Kill her. Don't kill her. Let her get her... Fu- I want her arm gone. I want a leg gone. Oh, Dion, she won't lose a fucking body part. She'll get a little scar on her face. I'm calling it right now, Three, two or three years before this movie comes out. She's going to get a little scar over her left eye, and that's going to be her fucking badge of honor. She's not going to lose an arm like Anakin or a hand like Luke Skywalker. No. Legs like we got to make her so much more I powerful. I say all of we her limbs her... like Anakin? <laughs> but that's a little different because they were both fighting for good at the time. Anakin, when he be... he was already Darth Vader. I'm not trying to get into that point. We lost his arm. He was good. Though, yeah, what I'm saying, and he, yeah, he lost his arm from his elbow down, and Luke lost his hand. That was what I was getting at. No, but she has got to be superior to every male character, but she can't face the trials and tribulations that a male character will face. She will not suffer or go through anything. She, Like you said, Joel, she will just be handed everything. It's the millennial mentality, but it's not... I don't think that's why it is the way it is in the film. I think it's just bad story writing, and I think it's there's an agenda behind Star Wars. And, like I said, Star Wars... Rogue One's gonna do it too because the lead's some lady and Disney movies and shit like that. I don't get it though. Disney owns Marvel, Disney owns Star Wars. Marvel is a very equal opportunity employer. Black Widow is just one of the boys on the team. And in, in many ways, she does more important things like in Age of Ultron. She's the one that gets the cradle, causes it to blow up, and get the Vision's body back. But then people bitch that she gets kidnapped by Ultron. It's like you can't have. You know what I'm saying? Well, right. And no, like, no, no. Uh, I get that just, uh, like, you're, you're on the fucking boat with the bad guy. Whoever whoever is there is getting fucking kidnapped. I get I get your argument there. And even so, even if the people complain, you know, fucking Scarlet Witch controls half the goddamn team. You got fucking Agent Carter, who arguably is one of the most important characters in the Marvel Universe. I mean, going off of Marvel, they again, they know how to bring that progressive mindset to the screen and make it make sense. Star because Wars I don't even th- does not fucking do it. I wouldn't even call it a progressive mindset. I would just call it a, a current day mindset. Because right. yeah. I don't think they're yeah. being progressive. I think they're actually giving you a, a good representation of a nice male, female, black, white balance. Yeah, because if like it was Star Wars, it's like... if it was progressive, uh, Ray would be transgender. All right. Hold on a second. Yeah, well, no, I meant, I meant in Marvel yeah. in general. Calm, like, calm down. We know you their- bang some... 
some he boy girl in Japan. They'll be getting all excited. So Marvel's leading ladies are exactly that. They are leading ladies. They are strong. They are competent. They know how to get the damn job done. And they know when to step back and let somebody else do something they can't handle. Yeah, you don't see Scarlet Witch trying to take on, uh, or not Scarlet Witch, Scarlet Johansson take on Loki with uh, Thor's hammer or something stupid. They're not like, you know what I'm saying? She didn't even stand up in the movie to try to lift the hammer, you guys. That's all you guys. Right. She knows. She's she's the only one that actually beats Loki intellectually. She's the one that, you know, she fucking lulls him into telling the plan is. They couldn't do that shit. The men can do that shit. That that's the perfect way of doing it. Is she beats Loki with her mind? Like that's fucking. She does that in the comic books. You know, it. That's the do it. Accent. That helps the fucking story. Accents and, don't goddamn matter, Joel. Quit your bitches. Thank yeah. you. It doesn't help. It so, doesn't, so you, you can change about an accent. If you're if, you know what, if you're I, a reformed, I'll, I'll if you're a reformed Russian agent, you're not going to talk with a goddamn Russian accent after working for Shield for fucking ten years. You're just not going to have. You're not going to do it, dude. Get it, get over. And why would they train you to keep a Russian accent even when she was in the red room? You want to blend Thank in. She has to speak to people when she's on a mission. So you don't want to be like, oh, I'm Russian right off the fucking bat. And they even mention it in right the comic right books, Joe. They, they talk about how she can mask her accent. She do, yeah, they, she can do that, but in the comics they also write her as if she's speaking still with a Russian accent. But that's speaking Russian. That's so, not with an accent. I mean, no, speaking with a Russian accent. It's 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 written word, dude. You can put it in however you and, want. And when, when they had the first uh, Avengers, my, uh, Mighty Avengers cartoon, that version had her with a Russian accent. And then after the movie, they made a new cartoon. They got rid of it. Is, is it? I mean, there are a lot of cartoons where they change how the, the characters speak. I don't know if cartoons are the end all be all. It was for... basically the same, same cartoon. I don't know. It was like before the movie and after the movie. Well, in Spider Man, they're all from New York, and the cartoon none of them have a New York accent. Not a damn one. They all they're all the they're, they're movie... born in New York. They're all New Yorkers. Thankfully, they didn't do it in the movies either, except that shitty Andrew Garfield oh, one. Fuck. No, but Brian, you're right about the. It's just the Marvel movies are doing everything right, and the, this new Star Wars is horse shit. Uh, Honestly, name when it sh- comes to the new what? Star Wars, man, you know what I want to see? I want to see Finn. I want to see Finn awaken. I want to see Finn start training. I want to see Finn become the badass Jedi he's meant to be. He's not going to be a badass Jedi. I'm trying to tell you now. Set yourself up for disappointment. He's well, not going to be. He's not going to be a second Jedi. movie. No. The main focus of these three movies are going to be Ray, Ray, Ray. Yes. And I felt that Finn was the worst character in the movie. Nope, Ray was, hands down. She was a fucking useless character. She was, It's like everybody did everything for her, but then she bested everybody, too, at the same yeah. time. Sad, sadly, my like, favorite character, uh, the new ones, only got, it got the least amount of airtime, and that was Poe. Poe Dameron? Yeah. He was he was a good dude. Character. It was funny. It was... He's right there with uh, Kylo, and he's like, "So, how do we do this? Do I talk first? Do you talk first? I see. I didn't like that. I thought that was. Just... I I feel like it's a difference because I don't find Kylo Ren threatening, and his mask even less so. But someone like Vader walking in, as tall as he was, as imposing, I don't think he would have said the same. It wouldn't have been a stark 